watching the koozie. So give me the beer with the koozie. Nobody knows what you're give talking about. Trade beers with me. I don't have a beer. I'm not a drinker. I want the koozie beer. Quit. My hand is cold. Quit it. I'm trying to watch some ball. You don't even care. Give me the koozie. Hey, better, 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 hey, better, better, swing. Oh, wait, wait. Give me this one. I don't think I'm supposed to talk. Here, Quit just it. Give it to me. I'll Quit. it for you. Look at it. There we You're go. Terrible. Oh, oh, it's coming our way. Nope, it went the actual opposite way. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It is Uncle Matt and Chester. We are at First Horizon Park for a very special event. We've got a sounds game tonight, but tonight, as a part of the sounds game, we've got Brews and Brewers Fest, which is like a weird, like, hybrid beer fest sounds game all in one thing i'm not a drinker but i knew this was something jessica would like because she loves going to beer fest like this so thought we'd check it out it's a pretty cool event they've got about like four lines going of beers that you can sample this runs about until like the second third inning maybe and then you go watch the game so it should be pretty cool we'll check it out we'll see how everything goes feels like you gotta start with these sounds brew right i mean how do you start with anything else here we go. It's got a distinct taste of beer to it. What does yours taste like? Another sounds brew, Pinklin and Shandy. Feels like we gotta try that one. So this time we got the sounds, pink lemon shandy, which sounds like, uh, you know, I'm not a drinker, so like a lemon shandy, that sounds like a lemonade. That's like something I would like because I'm not a drinker. Here we go. Ooh, that is refreshing. I think we could drink these all summer long by the pool. What do you think? It's fine. It's a pool beverage, you know. These are beverage, you That's what you call them. Evergino. Star Spangled Banner Yet Away. Sing it. All right, so there's like two lines here that are really popular right in the middle, and then the end lines, not so much. So I figured out a system where Jessica gets in line for the busy lines, and then I just go to the easy lines. Don't do that. Ah, oh, she's a turd. This is a really good game for me to be at tonight because as a Braves fan, we're playing Gwinnett. So we're seeing a lot of the uh, guys that have either been on the Braves recently or have a chance to come up at some point in time, like Schuster. The pitcher tonight for Gwinnett, I believe he started the season on the Major League roster and got sent back down. With some of the injuries the Braves have right now, with like Max Freed and Kyle Wright, he could be coming back up if he has a good night tonight. So. Uh, a lot of intrigue, a lot of interest in this game today. I say I have a lot of intrigue and a lot of interest in the game, and I probably won't even go out to the game. It's like the fourth or fifth inning because of the beer fest, but ah, still. The hunger won out. We've taken a brief break from the beer fest to grab some food. Kind of surprised they didn't have any food on offer at the beer fest, but you know, we're going to buy to eat the Music City Grill. All right, Jesse, you got a pretty standard cheeseburger. How's that treating you? Good choice. Obviously, a very good choice. Now, batting for the Brewskies, Preston Hura. Oh, no, no. That is really good. That's better than it has any right to be. That Philly was one of the best things I've had at a sporting event recently, but making our way back over to Hit City Hall to get a last little bit of the uh, beer sampling because Jessica's a drinker and she wants more beer. All right, so obviously tonight, Wednesday, May 10th, Nashville SC is playing FC Dallas in the U.S. Open Cup at Geodis Park. I had already bought tickets for this event, this sounds game thing tonight before Nashville SC advanced to the point in the U.S. Open Cup that's right now, so... I kind of wish I'd been over at Geodis Park because I could have got those $65 club seats and been like, I've got all the stuff, but these got bought first. It's a similar thing. I mean, like, I'm not a drinker, but it's all you can 
sample beverages here in the beer tent till 7.30. For $15 more, we would have had all-you-can-eat food and beverages. We can't predict the future. Things happen. I'm debating, do I try to watch the match here on, like, my phone while I'm watching the sounds, or do I just, like, wait and watch the replay later? Tough decisions all around. Everybody's got hard times. Hard times, brother. I'm reaching through the screen to you. You reach out to me. That's Dusty Rhodes. All right, so Brewers and Brews was pretty cool. It's a little too crowded at first, but as the game got going, it kind of thinned out. It was easy to kind of go get more samples. I'm not a drinker, though, so I, don't, I, was, I wasn't really there for samples. She was. She was furious. She's like, give me more beer. She said that multiple times. All right, so I just got to meet the mascot. Insert picture here. We're gonna head in the pro shop, see what all they got going on there. What is this? I'm not familiar with this. Somebody's gonna have to fill me in on what's going on with this. Like, legit, what's going on? Are we, are we transitioning to being the hot chickens? Not a fan of this. The baby. Oh, is that for you? No, it's for the baby. Looks like it would fit you though. Too big for the baby. It's too big for him. He's like five. He's like four three and like he's a youth thirty eight pounds. He's a youth medium. Eh, that's too big. He's too small for that. These are very popular. I've seen a ton of people wearing these tonight. This is kind of like a hybrid of like the uh, Nashville sounds and being the Brewers affiliate. Got the brewskis. So a lot of people I've seen wearing these tonight. Hmm. Oh, now it makes sense. They're officially the Nashville Brewskis tonight. All right, now that I've done a little bit of investigation, I've kind of figured out all the alternative jersey stuff. Definitely like the Brewskis jersey better than this one, though. All right, so after initially being a little critical of it, I did cave and I had Jessica buy me the Nashville Hot Chickens uh, koozie. Because I figured I didn't need a full jersey, but I mean... It's a one-time only thing. Let's commemorate it. I'm not a drinker, though, but uh, I had a gentleman put this beer in here for me to properly display what the koozie looks like. All right, Eli White is up to bat for Gwinnett. I have called him up quite a few times on my MLB The Show franchise. Solid player, good speed. You want a little uh, pinch runner late in the game? He's a guy you call up for during the postseason, in my humble opinion, based on what I do on MLB The Show. Nashville's pitcher right now is legit named Junk. <laughs> oh man, if that's not a name for a pitcher, I don't know what else is. How about for the Stripers, number 15, Vaughn Grissom. All right, Vaughn Grissom was just up on the Major League team for the Braves like last week. And he spent better, the better part of the second half of last season on the Major League team after Ozzy Albies got injured, but in triple a now kind of working him up grounded right into that word on the street is his defense needs a little work but uh orlando arcia's good start of the season also is kind of letting the braves give him time to work through things in triple a so good start but uh grounded out there but i think he'll be back eventually Arriba. got the country race tonight and last but not least, he's gonna get this. We have a Reba, no show. Go Dolly. Right. Dolly right there. Hey, Reba, Dolly, Johnny Cash. Who's gonna win the All race? Right, let's count them down. We're gonna see who's gonna win this. Is it gonna Here be Dolly? Go. Is it gonna Reba or is it Johnny? Three, Who you two, got? one, go. Uh oh, Reba. Who you got? Who's winning? Jesta. Who you got your money on? Who's winning? Dolly's far behind. Pick a winner. Reba. I got the man in black. They're over there. Reba's going. Reba's going. I got the men in black. It's Miss Fancy herself. It's Reba. Oh, oh you did it. Well called. Well called. Good prediction. I do like the setup they have now with uh, third home up top. Tailgate Brewery down below, just like right on top of the stadium. I think it's a good setup. I love it. Because you can, you can get like interest. Like people might be able to sit up there, watch the game, and be like, oh, I'd like to be down below and be amongst the people. Not at all. All right, so we're leaving the Sounds game, but since we're right here in Tailgate Brewery's right next door, 
we're gonna pop in, maybe get some pizza. Jess will probably drink some more beer because she just drinks beer till it's coming out of her pores. <laughs> And we're also right, it's like legit adjacent to the stadium, so we can kind of like keep watching the game if we want to. So, great setup. I kind of love this ballpark. I, this is what I've said it before, but I mean, like, obviously, we need Geodes Park for National SC, but this is the dream of what could be around Geodes Park eventually. Now, I feel like we're in baseball jail because we're on the just the outside of the stadium. The bars are keeping us out. All right, I got the Nashville hot chicken pizza. Jess, which one did you go with? Caprese. Caprese, and they are half price on Wednesday nights. What a deal. Good to know, right? Yeah, this ended up being kind of a perfect night. Watching a little baseball, a little beer fest, and we got half price pizzas. Ooh. Too hot? Very hot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tailgate brewery. I'm going with the hot chicken pizza. There's a big one in Nashville. Undercarriage, a little doughy. Could be a little crispier. Very cheesy. Good cheese on this. I'm gonna say 6.8. 6.8. Good bar pizza, right there with a beer if you're a drinker, unlike me. Solid. Solid. Alright, so the hot chicken pizza was good. I think it would have been better with like a drizzle, like ranch or something on the top to kind of cut the heat a little bit. Cause I, no drizzles? Yeah, like, you know, that probably sounds kind of productive when you're like getting hot chicken pizza, but I think on a pizza, you want a little more flavor than just pure heat. The cheese on this pizza was incredible. Like the cheese tasted as good as any cheese I've had on any pizza, so. I don't know if they use a different cheese or what they did there, but the cheese. So we are all done for the night. We're about to head home. I had a blast. I mean, I think that's one of the coolest things about minor league baseball. We didn't watch that much of the game, but I mean, still had a really good time. It's perfect. Like you go in, you watch a little baseball, have a few drinks, have a few foodies, do what you do, go about your business. You don't really have to like die because the team you like lost. Like the sounds, I've never like been like, ah, oh, my weekend's ruined because of the sounds, but I do like them. Nope, the shirt. Jesse, your thoughts? I'm kind of wondering if we can get back to the car going this way. Yeah, I don't know where we are. We might be lost, but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll keep you posted. I won't wrap this up until we're home, safe, and sound. It'd be a weird vlog if I just, like, did not get us home, safe, and sound. Really fun night out, mostly at uh, First Rise Park, a little bit at a Tailgate Brewery, but a fun night altogether. Definitely got to get out there more this summer. I always forget how much fun it is going to Sounds games because it's just such a simple, easy thing to go to and have a good time. Check out the giveaway today, though. It is a like a beverage sleeve thing, basically like like a mini cooler you can like put some like a Diet Coke in or whatever. This is like perfect timing because golf season is about to start. It has already started for some, I'm sure. 
But I'm gonna use this all summer long. I'm gonna fill it up with Diet Cokes when I go golfing. It's great. What an item. And this is just a giveaway that was free for the game. At Nashville City, we get Fanny Mukhtar. And we get a freaking like, sling, throw it over your shoulder, beverage cooler at a sounds game. I don't want to throw Nashville SC under the bus, but I mean, how do we get Fanny Mukhtar at a 30,000 seat stadium, top five team in MLS, and there's some random minor league baseball team, we get like a freaking cooler. Come on, man. Great night. We'll definitely be out back out for more Sounds games this summer. Stay tuned to the channel for that. Stay tuned to the channel for golf season. Man, I don't know what else is going to happen on this channel, but there's going to be a lot to come, so make sure you're around for it. Subscribe. We'll see you soon, and I will see you at Taco Bell or at the golf course or at First Horizon Park or at Geodes Park, but probably most likely at Taco Bell.